pored njega. Ljulj, Panter, Ljulj. Ozbiljna tuča, ozbiljna tuča na terenu. Partizan! Deca režima ste! Pičke sa severa! Na, 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 na! Zeleni šort! Back in Belgrade, can't believe I can't believe I finessed my way here, man. I, I really wasn't expecting to come, but we're here. Uh, as we know, game two had a lot of fireworks. They had a big fight. Um, man, I, I really don't know what to expect today, but you know, if you saw the documentary, you know Charles Jenkins provided a little context. It was a big fight when I, my first my first year. Demarcus Nelson and uh, uh, Malutino that played for Cheska. Like it was actually like a team fight. That was the first time I was ever like afraid that something more than basketball was gonna happen because we were the road team. And uh, they had a really good team that year too. Uh, one of my teammates, he um, drew a charge on Bertons. And Militino and Demarcus Nelson ended up getting into it. But we were the road team. So Demarcus Nelson and him got into a tussle and everybody was trying to break in it, breaking it up a little bit. But the thing that I noticed the most was a lot of fans was like taking their shirts off and wrapping them around their face and like trying to run down onto the court. And that was the first time I was like, yeah, this is this is more than just who like. But uh, this game, there's a lot of suspensions. Yabuselli's not playing. Um, Gabriel Deck's not playing. <laughs> So it's going to be an exciting game, man. Punter's out, Lasore's out. I'm not sure who's going to win. I think it might be better if Partizan loses tonight and wins the next game so Partizan can play in the Final Four. But, you know, we'll see. I'm excited to see what the uh, action's looking like inside. So, you know, let's head inside and uh, let's check it out.
Ekipa našeg šampiona, ekipa Partizan Mocabet, večeras nastupa u ovom sastavu. Broj 1, Tristan Vukčević. Broj 2, Zvek Ledej. Abramović. Broj 5, Balša Kubrica. So game three was another amazing, amazing atmosphere. They, uh, I didn't, I didn't know they could put so many people in that arena. Every time I go there, it seems like they just pack more and more people. But Partizan got off to a great start. Uh, Real Madrid took a while to respond, but by halftime they they started to respond. As I said before, this series is a David and Goliath type of series, and today was where Real Madrid's bigs kind of, well, mainly Walter Tavares kind of took over the game. Uh, Partizan didn't really have an answer for him, especially with Lasor being out.
All things being said, I think that uh, Partisan losing today is probably a benefit for them uh, in regards to if they make it to the Final Four, being able to have Kevin Punter back. I think Lasore comes back for game four. So that game should be competitive. Uh, a lot of people were telling me game four is gonna be even crazier than game three. So, um, nah, I'm looking forward to see what happens this next game. There's a lot of pressure on Partizan to, uh, to come away with a win. Um, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. Great defensive effort on both ends for both teams. Uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a heck of a game on Thursday, so. I'm excited to see what happens, but Thursday it is, game four, series 2-1. Let's see if uh, Partizan or Real Madrid is gonna come away with the win and extend the series.